Hi everyone, David Maley here, and today we're going to do something really cool. I'm going to do it quickly and show you how to get in uh, x-axis and constant lines in Power BI. We're going to use some really interesting data here. We're going to use Dogecoin data. So this is data that you can get from Yahoo Finance, Google Finance, and you can download very easily. You can put in the dates, the start date, the end date, whatever you want to do. So I've got data here that we've got filtered to January 1st of 2021 all the way up to let's see what's the end date here uh should be somewhere around uh july august something like that so anyway so i've got this data in here and we can go and create all these cool charts and put in these uh, uh key kpis and figure out what the low is the high is all this stuff but why would i want to use x axes and regular constant lines if you go down here, let's say I make an investment and I buy in here. Obviously, you'd want to buy in here where it's really low. But let's just say I bought in here where it's 0.10 cents, something like that. And I want to have an exit that's, you know, about, in this case, 150% greater. So I want to be able to exit or something like that about 25, 24 cents. And I'm being reasonable. Obviously, you can't time the market and figure out, you know, oh, I could sell it here. But then what's going to happen is you're going to hold it. And it starts to go down. You're like, oh, geez, I'm holding it. But will it come back up? And it keeps going down, down, down. So if I exit here, look what happens. Now, obviously, at this date, you don't know. But look what happened. It went below that. So I was better off selling it here. Now, if we look at that and I want to do that, all I have to do is draw a chart like this. So if I click on this, which I have, it's selected. And you can see right here in the visualizations, I'm using a stacked column chart. You could use a line chart. But I want to have these constant lines in it and have it make sense. So then what I'm going to do is you see these three buttons here. You've got your fields where I bring in the fields, which is the date. And obviously we've got closing the price value because the rest of the day, the high, the low doesn't matter. You want to know what the closing price is because that's what it's sold for. Unless you sell it during the high or low during the day. Um, so we've got that. And uh, if you go to this third button here, once you've picked this, you pick this third button here, which if I hover over is your analytics, and they're different based on the different types of visualizations you do and the data that you have. So in this case, if I minimize this, and I minimize this, I have a choice of constant lines that I can bring in. And so the first ones are, I have two constant lines, which are here, one, two. And if we go into them, we can look at the values. All I've done is select value of 0.24, close to 0.25. We could even make it 0.25. That's fine. Um, you can make it that. Let's do that. And color same. Transparency. See, I don't want it to be so bright or so bold that it's annoying. So I picked 20% dashed in front. Data labels are off. You could have a data label on there which tells you exactly what it is if you wanted to. Okay. So it's at 0.25. And uh, so if we go back up here and we look at the other one, we got constant line two, we got constant line one. See, this one's at 0.08. We could have 0.10, it doesn't matter. Let's leave it at that. So we're buying it at 0.8, selling it at 0.24. That's our goal, kind of like a high and a low and, and a limit so that we don't lose money, we make money on it, I think. And then you would still have to trigger this on your own. Obviously, this is not going to trigger your sales. This is just graph and uh, data analytics here. This has no connection to the actual trading floor or how I would trade if I were to own Dogecoin, how I would trade it. Um, you can use uh, Robinhood. You can use all kinds of uh, different avenues to uh, trade money if you want to. Again, this is not a recommendation of how to uh, trade the money or anything like that. So once you're here, you're in here and you've got these two values. We've got these two cost lines, but I'm also adding an X and a Y. Y, or not X and Y, two X axes contents, constant lines. One, two. Why am I adding them? Because this is my entry point and this is my exit point. See how I did that? So if I were to buy it here, if I bought it at a different time, I'd move that X axis line. So let's look at how to do that. You just pick your, in here, once you've got it selected, you hit add. You've got your value. In this case, is the exact date where I, if I were to have bought it, would be 2.8. And the line color of it. I can pick a different line color if I want it for the start and the end, but I just picked them both like this. And again, transparency the same, 20%. I don't want to make it too bold and too ugly looking. And solid in front, so it's different, designated from the uh, 
high and the low here. I want the entry point. And then if I go back and hit two, it tells you the exit, which in this case is July 1st. So if I exited on July 1st, that is the value. Generally speaking, stuff goes down over the summer, and you can see that clearly here. So a lot of people, they exit things. Uh, actually, prior to that, they exit in June. Usually, you'll see a lot of that end of June. Um, a lot of people say sell in May and go away. So if I sold in May, that would have been the smart thing to do. Look at that. But you don't know exactly what it's going to be each day in May. So I could have done that and sold it for a lot more money. I'm not saying I have Dogecoin. That's not the purpose of this. It's just to show you how you would use constant lines and where they are. They're very simple to use. You just, again, build a visual. So if I go in here, we've got the stack column chart. That's what I picked. You go in here. You can pick, uh, you know, change your border. I've got borders on these. Um, background, plot area, data labels data colors, all this stuff, um, make it look the way I did here. It's very simple to do. And again, you just add the constant lines, very simple, and your X axis constant lines and make them a different color. Just like I did here, I've got two of each constant lines and two X axis uh, line, constant lines. So that's it. That's all you do. And you have this pretty chart along with, you know, you can go and have add some filters, which are here, your slicers and uh, your KPI charts, which are or KPI cards, we would call them. If, uh, so if I click here, that's this. It's a card for your KPIs, which has, in this case, I'm showing a low, which is your very low. It's below. It's like 0 0.06 or something like that there. And your high here of 0.74 cents. So if you could sell there, you have a really great gain. This was just to show you how you use constant lines and X axis constant lines in Power BI, very quick, very easy um, to track if you are doing investments. And you could also compare multiple investments. I could create either multiple charts like this. You know, if I, you'd probably want to have multiple charts if you had different investments because you might have different entry points, different exit points, or, you know, possibilities of exit points that you're looking at as you come through the year. And especially as you're going into the summer, most stocks you know during the summer they sell again they say sell in may and go away and then you come back in september when things start going back up uh, thanks again for watching i hope you found this helpful uh, and informational especially with the constant lines they're very useful in all kinds of uh, charting analytics and even data science we're trying to show people you know when a campaign started when a campaign ended and sales throughout. So if this was sales for a campaign, which it's not, but if it was, you could easily see, you know, the start day, the end day, and maybe you have a period where you see a low and a high, and that's where you would use the constant lines for the low and the high. And again, the X axes are great for showing entry points and exit points, or campaign beginning points and end points, or where you have added features, a new application uh, for online store usage for people to buy with, you could see what was the first day it was put in place and then track the user usage and gains and sales or online activities or whatever over time. It's very useful, very good to know. Uh, lots of companies will want you to have this ability. Thanks again for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share, and have a great day. Thanks.